Hi guys, welcome to Truck and Travel. My name's Cinnamon. My better half, Derek, is behind the camera. Um, there's a lot of questions going out asking how much you can make in hot shot driving. Uh, there are a ton of different factors that go into it, so we figured we'd go ahead and just give you guys an example of how a week is for us. So this was last week. Uh, we are a team, but we do not do team driving, meaning we do not have a built-in sleeper and we do not constantly run. Uh, we do get in a little bit more miles than just one person can get if we do long runs, but we are tending to do short runs, especially for this week, so that is a factor as well. Uh, so in one week, we grossed $4,075. For our miles for the week, we did uh, a total, and this is for deadhead and for loaded miles, uh, 2,398 miles, and we averaged about 9.9 .9 miles per gallon. So that's the start off. So just to go over some of the different costs throughout the week. First I'll go over the cost as if you were a hot shot under someone else's authority and at the end I'll show uh, our cost since we are running underneath our own authority. So for the week we had we used up $845.35 for fuel. For food for two of us mind you uh, we did $148.57. Some people pack theirs but we ate at truck stops. Um, we didn't sit down restaurants or anything like that. Um, since we do not have a DOT approved sleeper, uh, we're in a hot shot rig, uh, we had to do hotels. So if we weren't close enough to home and if it would be more expensive to go home than to get a hotel, uh, we went ahead and stayed at hotels. So our hotel cost for the past week was $251.68. So uh, the area that we delivered to did have tolls. So we spent $40.60 in tolls. We do have a work phone that we pay for monthly, so we took that monthly cost, multiplied it by 12 since there's 12 months, and divided it by 52 to figure out what the weekly cost for that is, and it ends up being $20.93. So that would be um, if you have your own authority, you know, use your business, your phone for your business too. Uh, for our insurance for our truck and trailer, it is $193.32 per week. I've had some comments before being like, are you serious? Yes, it's that expensive because of how much of a liability it covers. So uh, for our truck payment, um, this one is $333.69 a week. Now, this is not paying ahead or anything. Uh, we had, if you are new to our channel and just now following us, let me give you a two second explanation. Uh, we had a truck before this that we had to take a hit on and we got this brand new truck. Long story, watch our other videos for it. Please, before you have any comments about that. <laughs> so that's our truck payment per week. Uh, we did just get a new trailer so that we would be able to do this. Um, and so our trailer payment a week is $157.15. Uh, for the load boards, now this is kind of getting into the cost if you have your own authority. We have to pay for our, t our load boards and we are using two load boards that we have to pay for. The other ones is if we sign up with uh, different companies and they allow you, once you have a, uh, you know, fill out the carrier packet with them, they allow you to use our load boards for free because they're signed on and contracted with them. Um, so the load boards that we pay for, for right now, um, because we're in an introductory rate, next month it'll be just a little bit more. But for right now, weekly, we spend uh, $33.22 on those. Uh, for our ELD, we use Keep Trucking. Uh, it's an electric log book, if you guys aren't familiar with that. Um, and it takes care of our log books and stuff. And the thing with that is that we actually had to pay, I think it's 30 some dollars monthly, but we had to pay for a full year up front. But if you wanted to know what it equals out per week, it's $7.43. Um, we also go through a factoring company and um, that uh, they pay, uh, they take out a certain percentage and then for each transaction, each paperwork that you file, they take $3 also. So that all together for the week uh, was $136.84. We do have a dispatcher and so for her pay this week it was $254, but this is the first week that we're going over that we used her and we already had a load lined up for Monday. So that is not the full amount that she would get if she booked us all of the loads that we got this week. So when we subtract all of those costs from the gross amount that we got for the week, which was $4,075, we ended up with $1,652.22. 
Now this takes care of our food, our fuel for the week, our truck payment, insurance payment, you know. So it's a lot of different costs that are covered by this. So that's $16.52. It's not bad at all, um, and it all depends on your uh, on your different costs and everything that you have, your bills and everything. So, um, if you guys want to see how the different types of loads that we do and how our week looks, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit a like if you like this information, if you're happy you found it, um, and if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask them. But I hope this helps you guys get just at least one point of view of what you can make in a week. This is, uh, sometimes it's feast, sometimes it's famine. So it really does depend on what kind of equipment and all that stuff. So Derek and I both have a CDL. So we are taking loads that can be up to, you know, putting us over the tw 26,000 and one uh, pound mark. So hope you guys have a good week whenever you guys are watching this. <laughs> hope the rest of your week is great. Thank you guys very much for joining us. Bye. <laughs>